right welcome back um, the tutorial continues we're gonna add IK to the legs of the duck so at the moment just to repeat what IK is at the at the moment the the only way we can animate the legs, the move to legs, is to rot by rotating the bones. So when we add an IK, like this, we can pull and move the move the leg as it, as it was a, a puppet, a puppet's leg. So this is a a very simple. IK leg that we're going to create but it's still important that you get you put everything exactly where, where where things are supposed to be so follow carefully IK handle tool is under under skeleton as well but we need to go to the option box again And we're gonna change if it's if it's saying single chain solver, we change that to rotate plane solver, and make sure the sticky is is ticked. And then we have the tool. We're gonna click once on the hip, click on the on the ankle, and that's your first IK handle. You can try moving it to see that it's there, and undo to get it back to its place. We're going to make another IK tool. IK handle tool. I'm going to do another one from, from the ankle to the toe. That's it. And next we're going to create a circle, a NURB circle. I'm going to go to create NURBS primitive circle. You can, this doesn't have to be circle. It can be any any shape you want. This will be your your controller, the the actual object you're gonna animate when you're gonna animate your legs. You could move it to the where where the where the ankle is, or you could put it exactly where in to um, the edge of the heel. I'm gonna put it there now. I'm gonna actually duplicate it straight away to to make another one for my other leg. I'm gonna rename them appropriately. So, and another thing I want to do to these these controls is, as you see now, that if, if you have the channel box open, you see there are random values here. Very, very confusing if when you start to animate. So I want them all to be zeroed. I select both both controls and go to modify freeze transformations and that will zero all the translates rotate and and make the scale one that'll be handier later on when we start animating you know where the, the default pose is for the duck okay so now the last thing we need to do is let's open outliner here we can see the two controls and the two IK handles we created for the left leg. So I'm going to parent these to the left controller, either by selecting them, selecting the, the controller, and press P. In Outliner, things are easy just to drag into other things as well by, by um, holding middle mouse button. So if you open the, the plus sign there, you can see that the two IK handles are parented to the controller and now we're gonna if we if we grab the controller we see how how well it already moves. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other leg. Take the IK handle tool again one between the the hip and the ankle take it again ankle and the toe and now because I already have the, the, the right controller here I'm just gonna parent these 
to the controller. And there we have the two IK and IK controllers for the bird. Everything else, when we want to animate, we are going to animate directly from the bones, selecting the bones. Thank you.